Just to have a seat, because today we are live with our guest co-host, the lovely and talented Tisha Campbell. Hey. Okay, I say we get right into girl chat. What I'm, do you say? I'm down, I'm down. I always love a good girl yeah, chat. Yeah, I, mean, I know how this goes. <laughs> okay, so first off, Tisha, you just came off of hosting the Soul Train Award. Yeah. Everything like were you nervous? What was it like being with your friend? Like, we weren't nervous okay. because we have each other to play off of. You and right. it's like, we've known each other since we were eleven and twelve years old. Yeah. So oh, wow. like oh, we dude. literally that dude. is undeniable. We we finished each other's sentences, but we were also co-producing. Oh, so we okay. had our hands in every single okay. aspect from, you know, who's gonna be on the show and so all great. of that stuff. So we were we were really, really working very, very hard behind the yeah. scenes. Yeah. yeah, you know, some people um, tried to criticize your wigs. I loved your wigs. Well, How you feel I'm really? glad. I love. Is it? I love them. I love them. And, and, and that's fine. I don't really listen to what they say. But yeah. what I wanted to represent yeah. was beautiful, gorgeous, natural hair. Just yeah. the bigger, the better everywhere. Absolutely. So for me, that's what I was trying to represent for, you know, African You know, it's women. a good day to have, you know, now that we have black females that can also lead an award show. Mm -hmm. And you guys do it so well. So I'm proud of you guys. It's like what you guys do. And then I think what was really important, like last year, the first time we did it, our freshman year, we really wanted to include all generations. Right. Yeah. But um, this time it was like, just be inclusive. So we really fought hard and got MJ Rodriguez. Yeah. Wow. I love her. To be a part of it. That was a wonderful yeah. moment, yeah. you know. And yeah. I always loved, like, uh, Alexander O'Neill. And, uh, and the, uh, yeah, we had, like, generations. Like, yeah. Alexander. It was a great show. And uh, Sherelle, and then Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Yes. And yeah. so Yolanda good. Adams. Iconic. And, oh, uh, she was Yolanda. such a good force. <laughs> great. Were well, you guys great. Love Yolanda. Yolanda. I love seeing you guys together. Yeah. Very I remember really Little Shop of Horrors when you guys were in that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. We were, like, movie. 16 or something. Yeah. I love it. They all did it for me, though. I could tell that you guys planned it. We did. Everything, like, like again, every aspect was like really, really planned out. Mm -hmm. And mine was from Jacob over at um, For the Stars on yes. Melrose. Um, yep. And um, Cinta Ray was my stylist, but they did such a great job. They did such a great job. Yeah, good job. All right, you guys. Well, recently Kim Kardashian West sat down with Jenna Bush Hager on the Today Show. And in her interview, she talked about how being a mother has reaffirmed her activism and a need to create a better society. Mm -hmm. She also opened up about the challenges of raising black sons in today's society. Take a look. And I definitely see how especially like black men are treated in this country still differently. Mm -hmm. And I'm raising two black men. And so I want to make sure that my world and their world is as safe and as fair as possible. I love that. So, Tisha, I wanted to ask you, as a mom, can you relate to what Kim is saying? Yeah, I can totally relate. To, I'm raising two black boys myself. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that, uh, well, for me, it's a little different because this is something that we've always known. Like, yeah. even when my mother, I have three brothers. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, there were certain concerns that they have automatically, but it's innate. It's something that is in our DNA that, you know, we take, we have to take special care in raising black men. And so she, this is something that she's never had to deal with before. Mm -hmm. you know, You're talking about Kim. Kim, yeah. yeah. So, and I, I applaud her for her consciousness yeah. You know, uh, but it's new for her. For us, it's like, it's ingrained in our soul. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm just getting tired of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the thing is, is that I feel like as a country, we're turning into this, we got to teach our black men how to, how to act towards... Our black oh. men already knew how to, yeah. you know, and that's yeah. not the issue. Absolutely. I want to keep the issue on law enforcement. Yeah. And the thing is, I don't care who you are, what gender, what mm -hmm. uh, race you are, there's a certain procedure that police are supposed to treat yeah. everybody that's equally, right. yes, and course. we have to remain on yeah. that. That's right. Because I even if you do do, I mean, uh, rest in peace, uh, Fidel, um, Fernando Castile, mm -hmm. he did everything and he, he still got shot. Yeah. So that was a part of police uh, procedure, racial bias, and we need to focus on that and not make it like the black men are the cause of this. No, and it's police. That's, that's very true. And you know what? 
what most people don't know is that they have only a couple of weeks of diversity training. Mm -hmm. And my, my whole family are, are police officers. So wow. they don't get the right and enough training in diversity. They don't get enough training in... Um, Racial bias. All of mm -hmm. that. And yeah. even, even in their... Um, uh, what do you call it, when the defense, mm -hmm. self-defense. They don't get, like, enough of that. So most of the time, you don't have to really worry about the person who's the real racist. You have to worry about the person like this. Not, not, that's not, that's kind of scared. That's scared. Yeah, wow. and trigger happy. And trigger happy. And yeah. power happy. Because yeah. you can see the racist, right? But the one that you can't see is that one that's got yeah. that gun mm -hmm. that's trigger happy. I and have a question. Yeah. Your, your sons are old enough to understand the news that takes place around them. Yeah. What kind of conversation, how do you Aww. at dinner talk about police injustice? Like when someone goes down for a, 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 and gets shot, for example, without being armed. Well, what do you say? What, how does that sound? Well, my son, my oldest was on the spectrum of autism. And so leave, even him leaving the house to just go for a walk, we have to have talks because yeah. it's a little different too for me because with my son, he might go for a walk and some of his movements may look like he's not being compliant mm -hmm. because he looks like, you know, very typical, but his answers, he may put his hands behind his back fidgeting and you can't do that. Mm. So with my, my, my brother and I, I, I think I talked about it before, we, we started this whole program called DOPE, De-Escalating Officer Patrol Encounters, mm. where, <laughs> where we teach and, and we also teamed up with the LA Speech and Language um, Center, um, a nonprofit organization for autism, where we teach um, kids how to be stopped by cops because you have to. Wow, that's good. And you have to we get also, literal about it. Yeah, we got to get literal about yeah. it because they do little quirks and movements that just could cause you them harm judged. even more. And so we're just we're also working with the police department to get them on. That's yes. what we, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we we are teaching them. So we go to the police department. Yeah. We speak to the you know, police department. I was just having this conversation like. with my brother, Tavier, mm -hmm, last night. Mm -hmm. And to hear him say, he's like, Tamiro, when I see a cop car or a cop, I get, I legitimately get scared. Yeah. And I actually want to go the other way around. And I was like, Tavier, what do you think is going to cause some change? And literally he said, true change is going to happen when people who misuse their authority in these go. type of situations are held accountable for it, yeah. and they change. But the thing is, we do need allies. He said, we do need allies. Mm -hmm. They're going to play an important role in that. So I got to give Kim Kardashian props for using her 152 million followers mm -hmm. on Instagram. I mean, she has a huge platform. Yeah. Thank you for speaking up about yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I think she got it from me, because I always said, you know, you raising black men, girl, you need to know the law. So Absolutely. thank you, Kim. We as you know. parents of black sons, what advice have you given on how to navigate today's world? At Feline34 said, have a mindset to create and build your own versus a, a, versus a dependent mindset. Respect yourself and others, and even when opposition comes your way, always hold your head high, because you are fearfully yes. and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. Woo! Well, speaking of black men trying to do the right thing and stay out of trouble, uh, yeah. this weekend, Colin Kaepernick had his NFL uh, workout, and uh, there were a lot of stories about this. Uh, they said that sources said that Jay-Z was very disappointed in Colin mm -hmm. and his behavior during the tryouts. Um, well, Jay-Z's Rock Nation put out a tweet, and I just want to read it word for word. It says, a source at Rock Nation tells us Jay-Z hasn't spoken to any sources. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Super funny. That's I thought a good that one. was hilarious. Yes. Um, so, so fact, you know, you, why are we so quick to believe sources? Yeah. And why are we so quick to empower blogs and online news media that people start themselves without any credibility? It's so weird. It sucks. I feel like if reputable media can't even give the facts properly. What makes you believe that like a random blog on Instagram is telling the truth? Right. Like, we watch and these we major with... reputable news yeah. outlets and we're like, that's correct. And sometimes their facts are off. We're looking at it like that is not correct. Because people <laughs> so want to talk. Many... People are just naturally yeah. nosy. People want to talk. The thing is with this situation with the, the Colin Kaepernick situation is that 
and I've said this before, I think I said this last week, we don't know all the details. Mm -hmm. We don't know everything. And sometimes we don't know the details for our, uh, for our good. Um, Jay-Z has never really, when he did speak, he spoke while he was in a news conference and people yeah. didn't like it. So now that he's not speaking, people don't like it. And sometimes you just gotta let things work itself out for a reason. Oh, crazy idea. <laughs> what is it? Shouldn't it somewhat be illegal yeah. to be a source without them saying who you are? I feel like if you feel bold enough to speak up about it, let your yes, name yeah. be known. Yep. Say who you are. Who is source? That seems so cowardly. Well, you to can me. hit the. Uh, it's just cowardly. You can, you can hit the person that is um, reporting the source. Mm -hmm. Like if you feel like defamation of character yeah. or things like that, then you can go to the actual say no, the, the how media can outlet. I do that, or something. Though. Yeah. How can we do that? Because I feel like you put listen, a cease and desist. I know, but I feel like wow. I feel helpless, honestly. You go on YouTube, you see so many Terrible. stories about each Terrible. and every one of us. They're so far from the truth. So but what true. really sucks is they've got like million to two million views. views. And I feel like the more divisive, the more mm -hmm. like devious Divisive. it is, Evil. right? The more views they get. Yeah. So how can these people who do this, how can they get some consequences? Like, because I, yes. they need to be held responsible because they're, they're ruining some people's lives out yeah, there. Yeah. And defamation and they of don't, character. They don't, and they don't remember we have, we have families. We, we, have have kids, lives. we have lives. And we have situations that affect our future. I remember when I was going through my divorce, it was insane to yeah. me that blogs were painting word by word scenarios that was actually adding fuel to the fire in which mm -hmm. we were trying to put out. We yeah. were trying to move amicably in a way that would uh, uh, promote us to be happy. Yeah. But when you hear and read things, you think that that person is doing a little trick on you. And then you have lawyers that are feeding things in your ears That's like, true. Yeah. you got to do That's something. True. What are you going to do? back and it's so evil and disgusting that literally I have actually completely um, turned away from blogs and any like I've unfollowed I recorrected all of my algorithms yeah so I don't even see any type of gossip or news and I learned that you have an algorithm in your mind Ooh, mm -hmm. when you click on something when you deposit it you will start to actually your brain has this thing called RAS and it actually plays over so if you say to yourself like I'm not good enough you will see reasons why you're not good enough constantly. Every day. If you click on gossip, you will constantly see that fade of BS all the time. So you have to control your algorithm and control your actions to yeah. clean your mind yeah. and clutter. Well, yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, I, okay, I do want to say, I do think that there are some good blogs, and I think that there are some bad blogs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. For in, I, know, I can only speak for, I think, um, people of color blogs. For a long time, we weren't allowed into mainstream white media. Like, we don't get picked up a lot. Like, shout out to people.com, because y'all picked up yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I was Okay, yes. magazine can be, yes. you know what I mean? But it's like, we do I need respect. press. In order to keep our show on, That's right. we need press. So I can't dog all, all of the of blogs, right. but there are some blogs that's just ridiculous, and Tuck, sometimes and they're we, negative. you have to stand up and you have to say, okay, this is ridiculous. Yes. You know, and that's Tell right. us who your sources thing. are. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But I don't want to diss the all blogs. There are some good <laughs> blogs. I think the Neighborhood Talk, I think Jasmine Brand, Jasmine, yeah, they're, they're pretty great. They, they try. Oh, so. Yeah.